Thousand Eyes for OpenTelemetry brings data standardization and portability to the Thousand Eyes platform. It is a push API built to stream network metrics using the standardized OpenTelemetry protocol, OTLP, format, making it easy for any OpenTelemetry compliant vendor, including Cisco App Dynamics, Grafana, Splunk, and many others, to consume Thousand Eyes metrics. Let's take a look at how you can easily configure this within your own environment. The initial release of the Thousand Eyes for OpenTelemetry integration is configured via API. I'm using Postman to show you today how to configure it, but you can use any API tool that you wish or from command line as well. I've imported the API spec from our Thousand Eyes developer documentation into Postman. I have it set up using basic authentication with username and password, but you can also use an OAuth bearer token if you wish. Otel Streaming uses tags in order to identify which Thousand Eyes test you'd like to stream. A tag can be any key value pair that you'd like, whether it's application, department, or geographic region, some identifying data about that test that you want to create a tag for. The integration only takes three API calls to set up. We're first going to create the tag, we'll then assign the tag to a test, and then we'll create the stream. So our first API call uses the v7 API, and it calls tags create. I'll give it the key, which is going to be demo tag. And my value is going to be app1. So if I had multiple applications that I wanted to stream, I could then give that tag different values. Once that's done, we'll click send. And you can now see my tag has been created. I'll go ahead and copy the tag ID here so that we can save that ID for later. We can get the details about the tag. And we'll also need that in our next step when we're assigning the tag to a test. Once I've copied that, we'll go over to our second API call. Our next API call is the tag ID assign command. Now within the URL here, you're going to replace the ID field with that tag ID that we just created. So that tells it to use that new tag. And then the other piece of information you'll need is the test ID from the thousand eyes test that you'd like to create the stream for. You'll need to get that test ID from the API using the normal methods, and once you have that ID, you can then paste it in here to the ID field within the body. That tells Thousand Eyes to assign that specific tag to this test. And you can see once we've run that command, it will then tell us that that tag with the tag ID has now assigned to that test. And you can assign a tag to multiple tests, so it makes it easy to stream. You tell it to match that specific tag, and then if you had five or ten different tests, it would then match all those tests and tell Thousand Eyes to start streaming all of that data. Our last command is the stream command, and this tells Thousand Eyes to create a new stream using the open telemetry format. Under the tag match field, we give it the key and value for which we want the tag to search for. So we'll give it that demo tag and then we'll give it our app one again. So that tells it to look for any tests that are tagged with those values and then create the stream off that. We'll also give it the stream URL. So this is gonna be the URL of the Otel collector that you already have set up. This is something that would be running in your environment or in a cloud infrastructure. That's where Thousand Eyes is gonna stream all of this data to. Once you fill those in, just click send and we'll then create that new stream, which is gonna match on that tag that we've provided it. And that's all you have to do. Once this is succeeded, you'll start getting data streaming through and you can start consuming that and utilizing that within whichever platform that you have that you want to collect this data from. So you can see how easy it is to set up an OTEL stream with the new API commands. All it takes is three steps and you can easily get your data streaming out of Thousand Eyes into other platforms.